All right, Deep Woken's Shadow Solo Progression. Let's get started. Uh, I'm not too sure how this is gonna work because this is like my first uh, solo progression video. I can't remember what rules I set in Rogue Lineage because this is an entirely different game. This is Deep Woken, but obviously no handouts. I'm not accepting those. All I'm gonna be able to get items from people is if I trade. And we gotta wipe a slots. I'm gonna wipe my first slots. And this is gonna be a Shadow Solo Progression video. I'm not too sure how much parts we're gonna do, but I assume that I'm gonna go all the way up to level uh, 50. I don't know if I'm gonna go to 60 because 60 would just take too long at least if i do it all on the surface but my goal for this solo progression is to go to level 60 and uh let me wipe this slot real quick uh this slot's level 41 this is just a troll slot i was messing around with uh there's a guy right here let me kill this guy come here idiots <laughs> all right let me kill this guy i'm not gonna kill myself what are you doing dude you gotta die to a freshie bro how does it feel how does it feel we use shadow eruption yeah and this slot is going to be a shadow um bro can you get over here please like you're not gonna hit me with any of that stuff just die <laughs> look at this this guy's even worked on uh okay not to parry that bro get over here just fight me parry that nice parry that you're not gonna touch me boy you're not gonna touch me. I'm untouchable. I'm untouchable. Okay, the server just lagged. That's cheese. Oh, it's a West Coast server. That makes sense. Uh, shot eruption. Nice. He is dead. <laughs> what? That spawned on me? That's crazy. Anyway, let me kill this guy and just kill myself. All right, uh, count level 41. Let's go ahead and jump into the pit. All right, so the only thing I fear about me doing this solo progression thing is that uh, if I split them all into different parts, uh, the videos or the parts might end up being 40 minutes long because there's kind of no way uh, I speed run all this stuff because usually I do like 20, 15 minute videos and there's kind of like no way I go to like max level or whatever in like just 15 minutes or 20 minutes. So the videos might end up being 40 minutes minutes i'm gonna do my best not to like cut a lot of stuff out but i may have to do a few jump cuts not a lot though or i might have to utilize two times or four times speed but anyway this is a shadow soul progression series that i'm gonna do uh i don't know what element i'm gonna do next but uh, if you guys enjoyed this make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe let's see is our attunement okay good shadow is here okay nice so yeah this is a shadow soul progression series i never actually went shadow before well i have but i never actually took it to late game but uh i hope you guys do enjoy this make sure you guys hit the like button and uh let me go ahead and set my character up this is gonna be the story of santiago hasset and uh he's a mean guy uh we're gonna pick shadow cast uh attributes for the starter attributes i'm probably going to go one strength with i think six charisma i only want one strength just so i can get a pickaxe and i am going to go 75 charisma because this gives me a lot of ether and since i'm a shadow build i'm gonna be using moves that cost a lot of ether i mean i could go intelligence but i like charisma better boons maverick and marauder i definitely want maverick since i'm playing alone uh hamophilia and obvious i always go those two and we're gonna spawn at etria also for the starting weapon i'm gonna go sword all right thus began the adventure of Santiago and it's a Cali server I am leaving <laughs> all right time to get started okay so I am playing my main account so I might get targeted a little bit but honestly I don't really care that much all right so first thing we're gonna do is uh talk to the guy in the end I don't know how I ran outside the end without talking to him I'm trolling a little bit all right I got my 25 notes uh, I'm not gonna make any armor until a little bit later guy right here and he has a pale morning I doubt he's gonna kill me uh, okay, let me get this ring from this guy. I'm gonna take this ring and sell it just like I did in my starter guide video. And as you can see, we have 10 shadow casts, so that's good. All right, here we are. Uh, let me sell this ring. There we go, we have 50 notes now. So I am gonna buy my shadow training thingy. And honestly, I might not even train charisma yet this video because I need to focus on my medium so I can do the most damage possible so I can melt these mobs. So the first things first, I'm going to train my weapon and I'm also going to train my uh, shadow. I think because I need to get these shadow talents as well right, here it is uh, weapon manual let's buy this all right we have everything we need now uh, now we're just gonna go straight to Arisia or actually I might go to song but I don't think I'm gonna go song till about level 15 or 20 but 100% I'm just gonna pump medium weapon like crazy I'm not gonna pump it too much though because if I pump it too much I'm gonna miss out on a lot of shadow talents that I'm gonna need and, uh, that's not good because you want to invest into your element as early as possible because if you invest into your element early uh, you have like a good chance of getting all those like legendaries and stuff by level 20 or 30. Oh damn it, I want to get the beeswax up there, but it's like floating. What the hell is that about? 
How am I supposed to get the bee? Okay, whatever. I guess we have to just get beeswax. There's one right here, but this one's floating too. This is stupid. I was gonna use the beeswax and a calabash to make a canteen. I'm gonna pick up this food because uh, we need as much food as we possibly can because obviously we're gonna be at Arisia for a fat minute. I'm gonna stay at Arisia until level 20. After I get to like level 20, I'm leaving that island. Uh, the only way I'm coming back to that island is for just uh, the weapon unbound quest. Oh, someone's boat is right here. I'm just gonna take this. All right, now we are sailing to Arisia. So I'll see you guys once I finally get there because I don't want to waste time with this video. I'm trying to save as much time as possible. All right, we are finally at Arisia. Also, I forgot that we have this charisma training tool. We're not gonna use the charisma training tool until a little bit later because uh, first things first, we need to focus on our damage so we can melt these mobs as quick as possible. That's like the main thing we want to focus on. Also, we're gonna go ahead and go in there and get a glider. So let's go in through the Mudskipper Cave. Is there any events here? Sadly, no events have spawned. We're gonna go up the Mudskipper Cave and go get a glider real quick. Oh, it seems the Mudskipper event spawned. Okay, perfect. As I was going up the Mudskipper Cave, it literally just spawned in. All right, uh, this shouldn't take too long. So I'm probably going to put this in like two times speed. So give me a second, guys. All right, there we go. Medium weapon increased. I'm gonna keep knocking all these things. I should be able to go to a level up with this, uh, just because I've knocked so much. Oh, I'm not. Okay, let me grip these now. Uh, the only thing I gotta fear is players, because players could easily interrupt my progression because I am on my main account. If somebody pulls up in here with a shattered katana, I'm literally just dead since I'm level one, of course. If it happens, it happens. There's nothing I can really do about that. And also, uh, I know you guys are probably gonna ask the question of. Are you going to grip players? Uh, yeah, I am going to grip players because if you don't grip players in this game, your build can get ruined if you don't have any luck. Like, if you're level 60 and you haven't been gripping players, meaning you're going to roll a bunch of trash cards because you had no luck, that build is pretty weak. Like, that build is literally just going to be weak. So, yes, I am going to be gripping players because I'm trying to make my build as strong as possible. All right, Harness the Power of Shadow. Uh, is this event over? Pretty sure this event is over. All right, um, what are these cards? These cards are all pretty much garbage. I wish there was a fold here, but there's no fold. I'm just going to go ahead and take Engage, or no, no, I'm going to take Diplomat since it has three health on it. All right, let's climb up this thing, and uh, let's go get this glider, because we're going to need the glider uh, in this progression run that we're going to do. Well, actually, we probably won't, but it's good to have. Oh, this is a Whaler. This is a good event right here. Uh, I'm not supposed to be doing this event at level one, so it's probably going to take me a while to knock this, but... I'm just gonna wail on it until it dies. Shouldn't take too long though. Come on. Come on. Training our shadow is gonna be a pain until we finally get a shadow skill that gives good uh, training. Because not all um, skills for every element train shadow fast. I need like a. I think I need shadow blade. Shadow blade trains shadow very quickly. And I want to grip this, but those two over there were good aggroed, so I'm going to lead this down a little bit before I grip it. And I apologize if this video goes to 40 minutes, but it's just like I said. Uh, progression runs like this, especially for Deep Woken, they're going to get very, very long. So yeah, uh, grab your popcorn, because we're going to be here for a while. Uh, we're level 2. Alright, um, let's start training our shadow. Uh, okay, fear of shadow cast improving. I might have to just use um, Autodidact to just get a point in that. Oh, there's a Nomad. Oh, we're about to die. This isn't good. Yeah, this is not good. Not supposed to be doing this event. <laughs> I have to run. No way I do that event. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I do not want to die to that. Points into our weapon. And this should give us a level up. Three. Oh, this NPC is coming. I'm trying to heal off the level up before this NPC comes and kills me. Come on, I get away. I gotta run away. It's stupid of me to aggro both of them at the same time. I definitely should not have done that. Come on. One more. Come on. Give me the last level up. <laughs> I can get it. I can get it. I can get it. No! Bro! Oh, what? Bro? <laughs> I got the level up, but I'm knocked. All right, we're level three now. Okay, dark blade, dark gun. Oh, okay, blade is exactly what we want because with blade, we can train our shadow very, very quickly. And, well, I'm just going to ignore that mob over there. I'm just going to go for the glider real quick. Oh, someone killed the event. GG. My goal for this video is uh, level, I think, 20. Level 20 would be really good for the first video. So we're going to see if we can get there. Where the hell is the chest? No chest spawn. Okay, we're getting trolled. Oh, here it is. Chest right here. All right. Uh, give me some good loot. Yellow headband. What's stats on that? No stats. Take that for selling. Right, the Viper's Jaw. I'm just going to jump through this poison. 
I'm not supposed to be really doing this, but I'm doing it anyway. All right, Pathfinders Respite. All right, up here is where you talk to this NPC, and they're going to give you the glider. Because I always forget to get the glider blueprint, and that's really good to have because it's useful in a lot of things, especially around Aerotel. But I don't think I'm going to be going to Aerotel at all in this progression because Aerotel sucks, especially if you're solo. Because if you're playing solo and you're on an island that has randomized event spawns, it's garbage. Because if you're solo, obviously less events will spawn on you compared to like if there's 20 people grouped up. So that's why I'm going to go to islands that have guaranteed spawns like Songseeker or uh, I think the Snow Island. Which is Menticia or whatever it's called. I don't know. But it's good that we rolled Shadow Blade because we can train our shadow very quickly with this. All right. There we go. Shadow and Kirist. Just like that. This is what I'm talking about. Since we have this, our shadow will train really, really quickly. Nice. All right. I got to health back off that. I'm pretty sure I can get an increase with that just because I hit so much mobs with it. All right. Uh, where's uh, Pure Hearts? Come on. Give me the increases. 12. Bro, what? What? Why are you here with a pale morning? No shot. These dudes are ganking a fresh spawn island. They're crazy, bro. I'm out of here. No shot. You guys are on a fresh spawn island. <laughs> These dudes are actually insane. Hey, but this is just how deep we're going to be, I guess. <laughs> Let's see if they can actually catch me, though. Yep, juke them out. <laughs> oh, Lord, dude. Problem is that they have agility and stuff, but uh, I'll see if I can outrun them. I doubt I can though. Oh, they're lightning. Yeah, there's no way. Why are they ganking me on a fresh bond account? It's actually insane, but okay, I got to keep running away. Oh my god. I'm on a freshy account. What is your issue, bro? Oh, we're back at Etris. <laughs> That's the problem with me doing this on my main account. <laughs> I'm gonna get ganked like crazy just because they know it's me. Alright, power increase. We are now level four. But it's okay. I can easily kill those dudes once I'm a uh, higher level, of course. Uh, extra health. Let me get this. All right. Shadow's at 15. All right. Nice. I'm going to grab this Pomar, and I'm also going to go back up so I can turn this blueprint uh, for the glider. I mean, it's okay that they killed me since I'm, like, low power. They don't gain anything from it. Those dudes are actually lame, though, for being at a freaking starter island just sniping me like that. But whatever. It is what it is. I can easily switch slots right now and just go kill them. But, uh, nah. They got it, dude. Oh. The game's about to shut down too. That's kind of annoying, but uh, it is what it is. All right, now that we turn that glider schematic, let's come down here to this campfire and make bread. Uh, these free points I have, I'm probably gonna put these into shadow because I'm trying to train my shadow as quickly as possible. Let's get this axe from this guy. Let's go back in here. Oh wait, we lost the stuff we were gonna sell because we died. That's unfortunate. All right, now we're gonna go back to Arisia. Or actually, I think I might just try Song Seeker because Song Seeker, uh, it's really good EXP and the NPCs are pretty stupid. So uh, I'm just gonna go straight to Song Seeker. Only problem is that I might get ganked while I'm there. All right, the game is gonna shut down in three minutes. I'm gonna see if I can sail to Song Seeker just before the shutdown. If we can, that'd be really good. All right, we are at Song Seeker. The game's gonna shut down in one minute, so uh, I'm probably gonna have to rejoin. So uh, let me see if I can kill a mob real quick before that happens. Uh, shut down at zero zero. Oh no 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 no! They're about to shut down. Oh, there's no mobs even spawned yet. I think someone already killed them all. That's crazy. All right, let's just wait for the shutdown. All right, so we're back in game. Okay. Uh, the reason why I came to Song Seeker is because the spawns here are really good, but. Only problem is that I can get ganked easily because this is a fairly populated island. And by populated, I mean uh, players play here a lot. Uh, typically in duos of two. For some reason, I can't find any mobs that have spawned yet. I have to probably just climb up there. Up there is usually where all the mobs are spawned. You may think I'm stupid because I'm at Song Seeker, which is like a level 30, 20 island at level 4. But uh, I'll be alright as long as I just parry everything. I'm just going to infinite combo the NPC in the wall. And it's just going to keep getting loot dazed. If I can just keep doing that, I can just easily win. Uh, this might get tricky because uh, typically when you see the mobs up here, they're in groups of two. And if they infinite combo me, I am dead. What the hell is this spot? Oh my god, I have no agility. I'm so used to doing this with agility. But the fact that I have no agility is just throwing me off. There we go. Nice. Okay, we made it. Slide jump here. And then we're up here. You gotta do a little bit of parkour. And this is also where the fire trainer is. Usually, our NPC will spawn right there where my mouse is. Or if they're not spawning there, uh, three NPCs should be over. Let's see. Maybe they're not spawned yet since it's a new server. Yeah, the server was made one minute ago. So I have to wait for these mobs to spawn. It's quite annoying. Also, I forgot to buy Flint. That's kind of annoying. Oh, there's a mob right there. Perfect. 
Okay, uh, we're gonna use Shadow Blade on this. Nice. As you can see, Shadow Cast has potential. And then this is exactly what I'm gonna use this. See this? I'm just gonna infinite combo it on the wall. That's why it's okay if you come to this island at level uh four or whatever level. Because you can just infinite combo the NPCs. But if they hit me once, I'm probably dead. That's why it's not really uh recommended that you do this. And it takes me a while to knock this thing. Look at this. Just because I'm so damn weak. Oh my god. Yeah, it's spamming so much spells it doesn't even parry. <laughs> This is what I meant by my video when I talked about Deep Open that some NPCs can get cheesed in this game. If you've played this game for long enough like me, you'd know that certain things you can cheese. Alright. There we go. Uh, oh, what? I oh, ran out. Whatever. Let me just pop this weapon manual. Power 5. Let's go. 15 levels until we're level 20. Uh, the goal is level 20 this video. Last dancer reps. 10 HP. I like that. Pauldrons. Let's put these on as well. Oh, wait. You can only wear one. Alright, whatever. I'm going to wear the glass dancer reps. Um, we have some amethyst for selling. All right, what do we take here? Posture, three health, ether. Uh, let's get ether kit because um, adept is in the meta master tree. And if we can get adept, this would be really good. All right, uh, how are we gonna do this? Ice, shadow cast increase. Uh, oh no, that's another mob. I gotta be. Ooh, okay. Oh my god. You gotta be careful of the fire mobs because no, oh, it fell. You gotta be careful with the fire mobs because oh my god their skills have hyper armor oh my god he's spamming <laughs> and this has hyper armor as well do you see this <laughs> bro he's spamming his brains out. i'm gone bro he is spamming his brains out dude what is that oh my god that fire npc is stupid uh there we go, I parried that. Alright, I'm gonna infinite combo this on the wall. Nice. Okay, if you use the repulsion, I'm probably dead though. Please don't use skills. Oh, perfect. Oh man. Oh my god, we almost died to that. Alright, they give me a lot of EXP. Alright. Oh, we can't use our shadow thingy. It's so annoying, dude. Whatever, we can just keep pumping uh, weapon manual so we get that strength. And also, this is where katana spawns, so if we get a katana, that'd be really good. All right, one more increase until uh, we're the next level, which is six. So yeah, you don't have to go to Arisia if you know what you're doing. Me, I'm not at Arisia because, well, one, I hate that island because you level too damn slow. And uh, if you know what you're doing, uh, you can just go to pretty much any island you want in the game. You can go ahead and skip islands, but you just got to make sure you can parry and you don't die, obviously. And it sucks because I need a freaking campfire and I don't have one. There's usually two NPCs right here next to the fire trainer. I guess they haven't spawned. Yep, they just spawned. Perfect, perfect. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this without aggroing both. Please tell me this is not a fire NPC. Please don't be a fire NPC. Yeah, okay, I'm going to sneak up on this. You can't. I don't think I can assassinate them. Uh, I'm going to shadow blade this guy. There we go. Power increase. I like that. All right, what element is he? Ice. Okay, perfect. The ice NPC is exactly what we want. Okay, I blocked it. Where are you going? See, these NPCs be stupid sometimes, dude. <laughs> oh, I'm lagging. That's what's happening. Uh, this is an Illinois server, I guess, so it makes sense. All right, I just got to infinite combo this thing on the wall. And it should almost be dead. See, what? Where'd it go? Oh, it's over there. See, leveling in this game isn't even that hard. Uh, yeah, I'm not going down there. If I go down there, I'm going to get stuck. That's kind of sad, but I mean, it is what it is. What element is this? Fire? Oh, God. Oh, the fire NPCs are so stupid on this thing, dude. Oh my, look at that high armor. Oh my god. Do you see this? Do you see this? <laughs> I'm only gonna die to this. Just because it keeps freaking... Oh my god, that Ichimonji. Uh, block that. Just why I need sword damage. So I can... Oh, I'm gonna die to this. Oh, another NPC spawn. Oh, I gotta run. I gotta run. I literally need to run or else I'm going to die. Another NPC spawned in and it was lightning. If that thing grabs me, I'm dead. Uh, that's the risky part about being here. You can go to whatever island you want, but if you go to whatever island you want, you got to be prepared. Oh, man. I got to pop one of my tools so I can level up. Is it chasing me? Oh, it's not chasing me. Okay, perfect. All right, pure hearts. Oh, I got to put my cards in first. All right, what cards did we get? Clutching Shadow, Shadow Eruption. Let's see if random Shadow Combat Monster. I'm going to take Shadow Eruption because Shadow Eruption is also really good. 
Let me put this over here. And it's the circle move. That's a really good move. All right. Uh, I need to heal, but I don't have a campfire. I might have to just reset and go to Arisia. Or, I mean, not Arisia, Etrus. Yeah, I'm going to reset, go to Etrus, and come back. Because I need flint, and I don't have flint. Because I need to be able to make campfires so I can sustain myself. And I can just easily fast travel over there by resetting. Okay, let's sell this amethyst and use pauldrons at 50 notes. That's pretty good. This how to make friends tool, we're not going to use this till the next video. Because I don't need to use the charisma tool until like level 20 to 30. Alright, flint. Three notes. And let's buy some wood. I guess we could get out of these scraps. Uh, yeah, let's just change out of these scraps real quick. All right, so this wood, I'm going to convert this into campfires. Yeah, five of them. So that's going to sustain us a lot at Songseeker. I am going to go back to Rissia later, though, because I need to grip players for good luck. Because uh, the cards I'm going to roll are going to be trash if I don't have luck. And let's craft something. Oh, wait. I forgot to buy the thing. Let me talk to this guy. And then uh, he gives you a discount. So that's why it's good to talk to this guy. All right, let's craft an outfit. And the outfit we're going to craft is this black one. All right, uh, let me go set a campfire and heal because I'm at 42% HP. All right, let's put these free points into our medium weapon. I would put in shadow cast, but shadow is very easy to train compared to weapon. All right, now that we got what we need, we're going to go back to uh, Song Seeker, not Arisia. I'm not going to grip people until probably next video. All right, we are at Song Seeker. Oh, God. Okay, there might be players here because there is a ship here. All right, I guess we're going to have to fight some people, so I got to get prepared, I guess. I don't really mind fighting any players, just that the problem is that I do no damage since my uh, sword is pretty much a starter sword. And uh, I'm power six. I don't see anyone. Whoa, who the hell is this? Oh, it's my friend. Oh my god, my follows are on. So he followed me. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, that's annoying, dude. I should not have done this. Oh no. <laughs> okay, three of my friends are on the server. I have to server hop. First, let me uh get these pomars. Damn, that's the problem with me doing this on my main account. <laughs> this is probably a stupid idea doing this on my main account because my friends are just gonna follow me through servers and stuff. I have to turn my follow off. Alright, we're on a separate server. Uh no one on my friends list is in here, so it's perfect. And I turn my follows off. Oh, it's an Oregon server. That's not really that good for me. But uh I don't really have a choice but to play in it. Alright, let me see if stuff spawned. Alrighty, perfect, perfect. Oh, four mobs. Yikes. Okay. Uh oh wow. Two are aggro, bro. Oh my god. Okay, I do have obvious, so that does kind of make sense. Uh that's kind of sucks for me though. Um wait, they went back. What the hell? I'm trying to aggro one at a time. I don't want to aggro all of them. Get over here. I know you see me. Get over here, idiot. Alright, perfect. I go down here. Oh, it's an ice NPC. That's actually so perfect for me. All right, uh, I'm gonna use um Shadow Blade, and I'm just gonna M1 it on the wall like crazy, and this will get the job done. Shadow Blade, and this should be dead soon. I'm just gonna keep using Shadow Blade. Like I'm even using Eruption. Why not? And it should almost be dead. God, these mobs are so damn tanky. Or actually, no, they're not tanky. I just do no damage. All right. It is dead. All right, let's spam this pure heart a little bit. 22. 23. 24. And that's a level up. All right. Uh, what cards we got now? Uh, we're going to take triathlete because triathlete is really good. Can I go even more? Oh, also, I forgot to say, every time you level up in this game, your EXP for weapon and element resets. So all that EXP I just gained from spamming that is just gone now. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're a ballsy, dude. All right, come down here with me. Let me infinite combo you. Yes, sir. I likes that. I likes that. All right, get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Come on. Nice. All right, Shadow Blade. Oh, what the hell? I just got launched somehow. I'm just gonna keep infinite combo on this thing on the wall. I'm supposed to be using my two hands so I can do more damage. Shadow Blade. Shadow Increase. All right. So this is pretty much how I'm gonna progress for at least this part. I'm gonna stay at this island until level like uh, 20. After that, I'm probably going to uh, go to Arisia and grit some grips because I need luck. Oh my god. And Arisia just wouldn't be as fast as this if I even went there. All right, Shadow Cast has potential. Shadow Eruption. Come on. Damn, I do no damn damage. I gotta put a campfire down because I need uh 
What do I need? I need more damage in my medium. Actually, I'm just going to grip this and then put points in my medium. There we go. That's another level up. Power 8. That's why Song Seeker is so good. You can level up pretty fast here. We're going to take Dark God. All right. Uh, There's two more NPCs here. There's another one. One. All right, this one is now dead. I'm gonna come down here and then grip it. I don't want to grip it up there. Cause if I grip it up there, that one's gonna get aggro. There's people on this island, so I gotta be careful. If I see a player that's too strong for me, I might have to just log. All right, so this is NPC right here. But before that. Uh, let's put some weapon manual training in. 21. Let's see. Oh, we can only go up to 21. Damn, weapon train so damn slow. I hate training weapon. Oh, that's another increase. Perfect. That's why I hate, uh, about weapon training. That's why I usually try and do it for- Oh, it's a fire NPC. Oh, hell no. Oh, no. Okay, it's spamming. Oh, my God, that hyper armor. Okay, I dazed it on the wall. Just gotta keep dazing on the wall. If a player comes up here, I'm probably screwed. If it's a progressed player, because I'm obviously not supposed to be at this island. What is that, dude? There we go. Alright, it's dead, and we got a nice chest for us. There we go. Alright, Sapphire. I probably shouldn't have gripped that yet. I should have popped these weapon trainings first. Because my EXP on my weapon and my element's about to reset. Yep, it's reset now. Alright. Overwhelming Drain or our Baron. Uh, let's take Overwhelming Drain. If multiple enemies are hit by Shadow Eruption, yeah, let's take that. All right, uh, let's look at these chests. Razor Cutlass, 60 medium, can't use that just yet. Eyeglasses, uh, for Sanity on that. Eyeglasses on this one too. All right, so we're power nine. We're halfway there to power 20. After we get to power 20, I'm probably gonna end the video and uh, come back next part and try and reach power 30 or 40. We'll see. But once we get to like max medium or 75, uh, leveling is going to be far more easier. The early game is very slow. Medium to late game is uh, pretty fast. Late game is where it gets really slow, which is like 50 to 60. And I can kill this NPC pretty easily. Oh, that's a freaking NPC over there too. What the hell? Oh no, I aggro both. That's not really good for me. Uh, I'm just going to run away. See if I lose aggro. Oh no, they're both aggro. Okay, that's not good. Uh, hopefully I can lose aggro on one of them and then pull the other one to me. Are they still coming? Nope, they're not coming anymore. Okay, good. That's what I like about these NPCs. They don't chase you for like a century. Right, I'm sneaking. And then after I sneak, I should be able to get up here and just hit one. There we go. This is the ice one. Oh, it is the ice one. Okay, good. Alright, I'm just gonna infinite combo this on the wall. Ice NPCs are stupid. <laughs> I feel like this island's gonna get nerfed after I do this video. But, I mean, it's not like this island's like the best way of leveling. Uh, I hope they don't nerf this island, though. It's just a good island. If they nerf this, those are... I don't know what to say. That's that's just wild if they nerf Song Seeker. Oh, it's a fire NPC. Come on. No, no, no. Not a fire NPC, bro. Oh my god. Do you see the spam? That's why I hate this thing. All right, block that. Oh my god, that has hyper armor. I might actually die to this. I'm gonna die to this guy. He's spamming like crazy, dude. He's chasing me still? Yeah, it is chasing me still. That's what I hate about that fire NPC. He needs to get toned the hell down. Like, why all his skills have hyper armor? That's actually a bug. Up these weapon tools. Come on, give me an increase. If this gives me an increase, I can heal. Uh, one more, one more, one more, one more. Come on. Oh my god, okay, I'll just pop the pure heart. Pure heart is gonna level me up and heal me. It didn't level me up. Oh, okay, that's not good. Or right, actually, I can just pop Dark Blade. Yep, just like that. Clutch. All right, shadow cast increase. My shadow's at 27. Medium's at 28. All right. Uh, this is gonna grip it, and there should be a chest up there waiting for me. But let's pick some cards first. Oh, we got five. Nice. Any rares? Any rares? Nope. I suck. Uh, these are, these are all trash. I'm just gonna fold this. All right, Sapphire and Tactician. I'm going to take that and I'm sell it. Uh, oh, there's another NPC right here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I need to go to the campfire, though, because I need to um, put my auto didact points into my medium weapon. There you go, medium weapon increase. Keep in mind, there are way faster ways of progressing, but I like to start out as Songseeker. 
Uh, usually, if I'm with my friends, we just go straight to the depths and just power level to 40 or 50. But obviously, this is a solo progression, and this is the way I'm going to do it. Uh, at least for the first part. The first part, which is the part you're watching, is going to be very boring. I'm literally just grinding mobs and stuff, but... Uh, second part should be way more funner since I'm going to grip uh, players and actually fight a bunch of people. But before I can fight a bunch of people, I need to be strong. Ooh, I got a coat. Nice. Look at the drip. Good to have, like, armor and stuff like this because I can scare players off. All right, uh, I'm going to put the rest of this in my medium. This should give me a level up since it's four points. On, just input all of these. All right. There you go. Power increase. That's why I like autodidact early. Shadow gun, shadow chain, mystery mantra. We're gonna take Shadow Gun here. Uh, we're not gonna use Shadow Gun until late game because obviously it's tiny as hell right now. I have to modify it to make it better. We're gonna use the Cloud Stones and might be the last spark for that. All right, so we fold the last level. Let's see what we get now. Aerial Stab, that's really good. Uh, our plan should knock out. Yeah, we take Aerial Stab here. Aerial Stab is a really good talent. It's like a must have. You see this? This is really good for chasing runners, but it has a cooldown though. All right, uh, we're gonna continue farming Song. That's also another reason why I came to this island because Katana spawns here. So if I can kill a mob and get a katana, that would be really good. This one's dead. All right. We should be power uh, 12 now. So let's pop these weapon manuals. There we go. Oh, I can't use any more? Okay, I guess we just start training our shadow now. So now we're at 36 medium. We're going to start putting points into our shadow. And I'm going to show you guys how fast I'm going to train shadow. So if I see an NPC, I'm literally just going to use Dark Blade on it. And that's going to give me uh, easy shadow cast increases. And that's going to level me up really quickly. I just wanted to get the hard stuff out the way first, which is medium. And we're going to go to 100 medium. I'm not going to stop at 75. So we are going to have to go back to Aresia so we can uncap it. There's an NPC over there, but I can't really get there. Like, do you see the stupid spot? Like, I, I can't get over there. All right, I'm probably going to server hop because this server is kind of trash. It's an Oregon server, so bear right back. This is a West Coast server. It says Central and Western Hong Kong, but it's actually just West West Coast. I don't know why Roblox has it like that. Alright. Oh, it's a shadow NPC. Oh my god. Corruption. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at the spam. Block that. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Like, do you see that cheese? Oh, it fell off. Welp. It do be like that, dude. GG's. I'm gonna pop these pure hearts and level me up a little bit. Come on, level me up. Oh my god, it didn't level me up. Actually, I'm just gonna pop a weapon manual. Alright, give me that level up. Nice, dodge that. Okay, bro. Only reason why I hate this NPC is because it's not... It, whoever made this didn't test this. Because every single skill has hyper armor. And he just spams skills. He doesn't M1 ever. Alright, so let's see what cards we got. I'm just gonna take breathing exercise since it gives me 3 health and 4 sanity. Alright, uh, let's put a campfire down. Put flint. Uh, let's put the west, the rest of these into weapon, so we can get 40 medium. All right, uh, razor cutlass is at 60. Damn, I'm surprised I haven't found a katana yet. Just every time I come here, at least when I play on my own, uh, I find a katana very quickly in the chest. Surprisingly, I haven't. All right, let's level up our shadow like very quickly. All right. Uh, oh, what? Two NPCs? That is uh, catching me off guard. All right, uh, this is not what I signed up for, but okay, I guess. Uh, look at that shadow eruption. Okay, uh, dark blade. All right, one of them should almost be dead. Shadow eruption. Nice. They got dazed by that. That's why it's good that I took that talent. Oh my god, dark blade. Come on. Okay, I knocked one of them. Nice. All right, shadow eruption. And they are dead. Damn. Tensing on that spell is crazy. See, I'm literally just breaking the tree. Bro. Oh my god. Please die already. Shadow played. And this should be a level up after this for sure. Oh my gosh. Just die already, please. Alright, nice. Okay, that's a guaranteed level up. Oh wait, I shouldn't have gripped that yet. Damn it. Okay, uh, let's carry this and use the pure heart because we're going to level up off this. All right. Expert shadow cast. Two stars now. All righty. 
Uh, these are all garbage. <laughs> Holy heck. Right, let's drop this. And let's use the pure art once. And then we're going to grip it because our EXP got reset since we load up. All right, this should give us an increase. Oh, it didn't. Okay, so that's surprising. Whatever. Uh, that's one increase. It's another one. This should uh, just give us a full level up, honestly. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, level 14. See? I told you guys, 1 through 10 would be really slow, but after that, uh, it gets pretty fast. That's only because training element is way faster than training medium, and I started with medium first. Alright, I'm not going to get steel of sight, because if you get steel of sight, you're locked out of singularity. And you're going to see what singularity is in a little bit. Hopefully, singularity pops up this time. Oh, steel of sight again. This is all trash. Uh, well, actually, my deer is pretty good. Uh, I am going to fold here, though. Why not? go another one and that is another one all right power increased all right uh, let me select my card still a sight i don't want that it's all garbage dude i'm just gonna fold again let me grip this all right got me some exp and i'm gonna put this into medium and we're just gonna do the same process again Now let's pop this pure heart again and see like once you know how to play the game leveling isn't really that hard it only gets hard at like 30 to 40 well after this island i guess all right oh wait i didn't have enough exp that's unfortunate uh, maybe this will level me up Did it nope it's it didn't. all good though the shadow blade's gonna level me up there we go just like that all right before we pick our cards let's kill this npc there we go all right nice all right let's pick our cards real quick before we grip this wallets we're singularity oh we got devour uh yeah definitely taking that 100 percent that's a must have uh but awakening well made singularity yes sir enemies are briefly hanged in place when they're hit by a shadow move if you get this you cannot get the shadow thing that blinds people you can either pick the one that blinds people's screens or the one that stuns them i like the one that stuns them because well blinding people's screens isn't even all that anyway all right uh i think we fold here because I'm pretty sure our next uh, card selection stuff is going to be uh, skills. Oh, wait. I forgot to check if it gave a chest. I'm going to go back up there and check. Oh, there is a chest. Rubies? That's it? Oh, my God. Damn, I'm so annoyed that I have not gotten a katana yet. Like, I'm not supposed to be using the starter weapons still. Hopefully, we get a katana before we end the video. What the hell was that hitbox? I have no clue what just happened there, but that's an annoying bug. Also, we are going to have to do the Duke. Oh, this event is here? Uh, I don't know if I do this. Or, well, I will do that, but just give me a second. Hopefully one of the NPCs are here. Yep, both of them are here. Uh, if I get the Shadow Meteors, that will train my Shadow like crazy. So hopefully I can roll Shadow Meteors. Uh, I'm going to just Dark Blade this guy. There we go. Power increase. I like that. Oh, it's Ice NPC too. Perfect. If you want to train your element fast, use your skills on NPCs, not your sword. Only use your sword if you're trying to train your sword, of course. What cards do we get? Pretty sure these are mantras. Oh, they're not mantras. Wow. Guess we got unlucky. Uh, what do we take? Let's get a replenishing knockout. All right, what do we get now? Uh, dark synergy. Engulf your enemies in shadow and flourishing them. Perfect, perfect. Definitely want that. That's a really good one. So now I can pretty much infinite combo NPCs if I really wanted to. For that, uh, let me grip this. Hopefully this doesn't aggro that one. Oh my god, it did. Yeah, it did. That's so annoying. Alright, uh, so now as you can see when I flourish enemies, it does that shadow effect on them. Oh my gosh, dude, you're so annoying. Alright, we are almost at 50 shadow casts, so we're doing really good. Uh, I am tempted to go like a split build of wind and shadow, but I'll probably do that in like a future build. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna record that, we got boots, nice. All right, we're getting some nice gear here. Go. So, all right, I'm gonna dark blade this. It's gonna give me an increase. So uh, I might die to this because dagger NPCs are so damn broken this game. But we'll see. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dark blade. Oh wait, what? I got flung in the air. That was weird. I hate dagger NPCs so much. <laughs> 
Dagger NPCs are just so annoying. Look at the damage, dude. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna die to this. <laughs> I'm gonna die to this. Yeah, I'm gonna run. No way. No way I do that. <clears throat> Not risk dying for that. Nope, nope, nope. There's no point in risking that. What cards do I got? Just gonna run away. Fear. Uh, lasting Sorrow. Shadow lasts longer on opponents. These are both pretty good. I don't know which I'm gonna pick, though. Let's pick uh, Lasting Sorrow. We're gonna get both options anyway. Can I heal here without that NPC seeing me? Nope, it sees me. Oh, come on. At least it's just one NPC, though. I think I can handle one. I think? Or well, at least I hope. Uh. Oh, God. Okay. I gotta pair this thing like crazy. Oh, I'm dead. Oh! Perfect. <laughs> that was actually perfect. I almost died to that. <laughs> okay. Pop the pure heart. Uh, because I want to go to 75. Actually, I think we should go back to focusing on weapon. Dark Blade. There we go. Shadow increased. Nice. They're both pretty much one shot. Wow, I was doing good then. But not good enough, I guess. Alright. Um Pure Hearts. Oh no, we can't get another increase. I didn't get the spam shadow blade enough. I need more mantras. Why am I not getting any mantras? Oh, it's because I haven't killed anyone. Mm, Damn it. Will increase. Okay. So we're gonna start focusing on our stats soon. Like strength fortitude and all that. I'm not gonna put any points in fortitude. I am gonna do charisma next. And then after that, we're gonna do agility and strength. All right, I'm gonna switch servers because nothing is spawning anymore. All right, we're in a different server. All right, uh, like I said, the progression is going pretty good. We're getting a lot of progress in one video. Uh, okay, bro. You with your stupid crap again. Oh my god! It actually just looped the. Oh wait, I, I just died. I just died. I legitimately just died because he just spammed that thing. That is insane. Okay, I'm gonna sail back. <laughs> that is stupid. I like that's why I hate that NPC, bro. It spams. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. Oh lord, now we have to go all the way back just to get our loots. Can we do another one? Nope, we can't. We need one more. We're a weapon manual, please. Nope, we can't. Wow. All right, so we are back. Damn, that's so annoying. <laughs> That's actually annoying as hell that that NPC did that, <laughs> but I mean, it is what it is. Like, I can't even parry that if he's just literally just looping it over and over. Yeah, and look over. at this dude. Yeah, he's probably like one shot or something. He wasn't even one shot, actually. There we go. Power increased. Get my damn HP bar back, boy. All right. Uh. Oh my god, an NPC. Jeez, dude. No shot. This thing spawns on me. Uh. Bro, there we go, Dark Blade, Shadow Eruption, nice, Doing good damage, that Flourish thing is just so good, Dark Blade, nice, okay, I buried that, I think there's a bug where, oh my god, okay, this guy's destroying me, there we go, should almost be dead. I keep guard breaking him, but it doesn't amount to nothing. Am I actually gonna die again? Please just die there. Holy crap, dude. Alright, let me uh pick my cards and pick up all my loot. There we go. Alright, so what cards do we have? Shadow chain, shadow assault, mystery, random medium weapon combat. Oh, that's the thing I want, but I also want Shadow Assault. Damn. I want to try out the random mystery, so let me try that out. Uh, Master's Flourish. Oh, that's pretty cool. I may have trolled not taking uh, Shadow Assault there, but hey, it is what it is, I guess. I want to try out the new stuff. All right, so we're one level off of uh, Power 20, so we're going to end the video soon. I know this video wasn't really that exciting for uh, a solo progression, but this is pretty much just the start. And I had to hurry up and like uh, get the slow parts off first, which is pretty much leveling from 1 to 20. 1 to 20 is just ridiculously slow. And it would have been far slower if I did it at uh, Etrus, or not Etrus, Arisia. So next parts, we're probably gonna go to, um, I think the Snow Island or something. Uh, we definitely have to get a canteen and all that. Uh, there's like a lot of things we have to do. I'm probably gonna like write a list of stuff we have to do. What about this Master's Flourish thing? That's pretty cool. Come on, Dark Blade. Uh, I'm gonna take this away. I'm kind of sad I didn't get a Katana though. That was like the main reason I came to Song Seeker for, so I can get a Katana from a quest. 
Who knows? Maybe we'll get one from finishing this. Uh, I doubt it though. There we go. Oh no, we couldn't get another one. All right, that's pretty sad. All right, uh, Shadow Blade. Nice. This should give me the thing. There we go. I can level up again if I want. Dark Blade. All right, so this is pretty much level 20. Oh, that one's fire. Oh no, we might die. Wait, we're gonna die? Sheesh, I'm out of here, bro. <laughs> what is that, dude? I am gone. Power increase, bro. <laughs> you got it, dude. Oh, nah. I gotta aggro one at a time. I got the shadow overflow. Uh, extra stolen. Oh, this shadow overflow is good. Definitely gonna get that. Which NPC is this one, dude? Who is trying to challenge me? Uh, Dark Blade. Oh, this is the fire one. Okay. Of course, it's the fire one coming down here to fight me. Alright, I'm gonna grip this one and then grip the one up there and then we're gonna end the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I mean, I know it was pretty boring, but hey, you guys gotta understand. The progression of this is far different than uh, Deep Woken or Rogue Lineage, I should say. Way easier to come in contact with players less in this game. Uh, why did the Ice NPC, where did it go, bro? It's gone. I was gonna kill this one and get a chest to see if there was a katana. Whatever, I guess I won't be doing that then. Anyway, that's gonna have to do it for this video. I got to level 20 in uh, one video, so that's pretty good for a part one. That's gonna do it for me. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Came up from the bottom, better move with caution. When I bring this out, final form, I'm a slay. When I pull up, get thunder clap, my slayers run it back. Make sure these demons remember the name. I do them dirty like EU when I'm dead calm. Till I get hot, but I see through all your dead plots. I'm in the guys that need to cut your head off. Pull up with your demons, I'm making sure they nest gone. Bill like a pillow, my lessons breathing when I'm breath flies. That wrong, that wrong, think it is my best shot. Flower got flower, got heat, no comic, cock it out. Up a moon, lower moon, say I'm like a hot shit out. Whirlpool flow, cause I'm trying to drip flash dance.